today is the first Friday of the month. We usually dedicate in honor of the most sacred heart of Jesus. And also today is the uh, optional memorial of Pope, of Saint Pope Sixtus II and his companions. He is a bishop and also a martyr. He, he was killed during the time of Emperor Valerian uh, when he was celebrating the Mass in the cemetery. So let us offer to God all our prayers and intentions, especially the intentions of this Holy Mass. O oh God, come to my assistance, O oh Lord, make haste to help us. You are my rescuer and my helper, O oh Lord, do not delay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, may be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters of Christ, as we come together as one people of God to celebrate Christ's sacred mysteries, let us offer to God all our prayers, all our intentions that we hold in our hearts, as well as our woundedness, our own sinfulness, that we have to ask for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to all sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness. That for those who glory in you as their creator and God, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory. And then he will repay each according to his conduct. Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord. So once again, um, the Gospel of today presents to us the, uh, the clear distinction between the human standard and the divine standard, wherein mostly the human standard geared towards pleasure, convenience, comfort for personal gain, whereas uh, this uh, Divine standard always about suffering and sacrifice and the kingdom values. So Christ tells us and shows us in his own life that necessary suffering is truly salvific and redemptive, as what uh, he did by offering himself on the cross. And in this context, Jesus gave a challenge to his disciples that the cost of discipleship and following him entails three important radical demands, as you, as you have heard in today's gospel reading. Denying of self, taking up one's cross and following Jesus' ways. So these are the three uh, requirements that Jesus are asking to those people who want to follow him. And we know that uh, Jesus also presented these uh, paradox by giving us what we lose, we lose what we keep and save and we gain and find what we give away. So when we lose our lives for Jesus, we gain a priceless treasure and an inheritance that will last forever because we will inherit eternal life and the kingdom of God. But it is not something that is easy. And sometimes it is <coughs> to embrace these uh, requirements and demands sometimes takes a process. And it takes a lifetime renewal of oneself. But Jesus is very clear that the cost of discipleship in following him must follow these demands. Denying himself, taking up one's cross, and following his ways. Because it is only by embracing these demands of discipleship that we become true and worthy disciples of Christ. So let us ask the grace of God, especially in this holy mass, to give us always the time of openness in our hearts so that we will persevere, especially in times of difficulties, in times of despair, and also sometimes in, pain, in times of trials and tribulations that we become faithful to follow Him. And of course, uh, today's uh, Celebration is also a reminder for us of the most sacred heart of Jesus, that we follow Him that by conforming our hearts to Him. So as also a reminder for us of the example of Pope Sixtus II, 
wherein he truly gave his life, even death, for following Jesus and also proclaiming the Word of God. So let us pray that may Christ's strength be ours as we face the challenges of life. And may the grace of God be ours so that we can always give up and embrace the demands of the cost of discipleship. Amen. <clears throat> By self-denial, we think of the cross each day, walking in the footsteps of our Lord and Master. Let us pray for others and so cast out the selfishness which keeps us apart from God. Our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may she show, may she grow in holiness and charity through the gracious mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. Reluctant officials, may Christ's example of servant leadership be their guiding light. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For family members who are estranged from one another, may the Holy Spirit strengthen them as they seek reconciliation with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those of us gathered here, May the grace of this sacrament transform us in the image of Christ's love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, may they rejoice with all the angels and saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For Brenda Mead, who is living, for whom this Mass is offered, and for all the prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Father, source of all wisdom and love, your Son entrusted his power to the Church. As we offer these prayers, help us to fulfill your plan for all us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for your goodness, Lord, receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and bread of human hands, and you become our spring for drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with all angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end. We acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Zion and Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Zion. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the two fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and give it him. For this is my body, which should be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Thank this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, and all the saints, especially Sixtus II, and his companions, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry you before his eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty oh Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
to all those viewing online. May this ring in the body of the Lord Jesus Christ may return and let us receive. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I come out at this moment, receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will not hunger, and whoever believes in me will not thirst. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those who renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. May you have a wonderful and blessed uh, weekend. You too, Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty and loving God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.